Hi there, welcome to my studio. My name is Siobhan. This is Art Skills Online. This is where I post videos related to figure drawing and how you can use gesture and contour to develop your own natural and responsive style of drawing. So if you're at all interested in drawing the figure, then stay tuned, consider subscribing so we can stay in touch. Today I'm sharing this charcoal drawing of the model. I used the New Masters Academy um, model reels and I'll leave a link to the exact pose in the description below. But I ended up just drawing the face. So I wanted to share this process with you and explain my approach to drawing loose and gestural portrait studies. So I should say from the beginning that gesture drawing really doesn't have much of a formula. Um, this drawing came out of a, a lot of very abstract marks. So there isn't, you know, like a formal approach to breaking the head down into thirds or anything prescribed like that. It's really just a very truly responsive drawing. So here's the video. I'll explain a bit more about the process and I'll check back in with you at the end. I really did not intend to start out drawing the face. So just a, a, you know, a disclaimer from the beginning that, as I said, this isn't a video about how to draw a formal portrait. What happens with me a lot is I find that, you know, I set out to draw the figure or the full figure as an exercise or as a practice, but I end up being a little bit uninspired really to draw the whole figure and I just draw the face. I've explained before how you don't have to put pressure on yourself always to be drawing the full figure all the time. Even if you do draw the figure, you can leave some, some of it out, you know, leave a little bit unfinished. So I'll leave a link to that video that explains that approach. The one thing that I did try to force into this drawing or to at least make sure that I got right was that tilt of the head. It's so important and so often I do that wrong. So I've got to like figure out the angle between the eyes and the nose and make sure that the nose is tilting in the right direction. This is a really common mistake that I know I make and I know a lot of other people do. We sort of instinctively try to draw the face. We try to straighten up the drawing and we're not even aware that we're doing it. I know that I tend to do that. So this tilt is something that I'm I have to be very conscious of. In this drawing, I'm using compressed charcoal on newsprint and I'm drawing on the easel for a change. I draw flat on the table for most of my videos simply because it's the easiest way to film the process. But I definitely find that I draw a lot better if I'm standing up and if my drawing is sort of on the easel or at least upright in front of me. So as I said, my first marks are like big abstract gestures. And this to me is just a way to kind of loosely block in the overall shape, but it's also a way just to make some very basic initial responses on the page to what I see. These marks are not accurate. They're almost like warm up marks, but they are going to be part of the drawing in the end. And because I'm working with compressed charcoal, and because that offers a lot of tonal variation, I'm kind of drawing for the shadows at this stage, in this very early blocking out phase. This is kind of a mix. I end up doing kind of a mix between line drawing and mass drawing. Mass drawing is when you build up the drawing with shadows and mid-tones, and then you subtract the lights and the highlights out of it but I do like to mix some contour drawing in as well into the process because the danger with just 
focusing on mass drawing for me anyway um, or just if I focus too much on, on just drawing the shadows is that it all gets very very uh, black and messy very very quickly so I try to switch back and forth between like very simple contours and then some sort of tentative shading Then at a certain point, I will have to go in and start making some definite darker marks to delineate the features. And this is where it does get a bit tricky because this is where, you know, it can go horribly wrong at this stage. And my advice is just do a few marks, make as few or as small marks as you can. You can always go back in, layer on more marks on top, but it's much harder to take them away, especially I find around things like the eyes. If you end up drawing like a hieroglyphic eye or something like that, it's just, it, you know, it's much harder to get rid of that, especially with compressed charcoal, it's not so easy. Towards the end of the drawing, I used the kneaded eraser a little bit, but unfortunately it doesn't work very well with compressed charcoal. It just sort of smears it around rather than erasing it clean, but that's okay. I just used it a tiny bit to pick out some small highlights and that worked fine. The whole idea for me about this approach to drawing is that it allows you to be a little bit free and just explore the portrait from a very responsive, intuitive place. Sometimes this approach is really useful for helping you to kind of sharpen your observation skills because you can't really rely on a set formula or a set set of steps and you have to try and eyeball everything instinctively and that really just trains you to observe things and compare and use your observation comparatively to build up the drawing. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some useful information out of it, or at least got some inspiration to tackle portrait studies in a very loose gestural way. So please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think or how you tackle drawing the portrait. I'd love to hear from you. And give this video a like if you think it's worthwhile. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.